What's up, world? It's day four of Vlogtober. I'm still going strong. Excuse my hair. I know it looks a little crazy, but I'm about to do a little... Well, it's going to be like a com combination video. It's going to be a get ready with me slash story time video. So, I hope y'all don't mind. We family. So, I'm going to be wanding my hair while I tell y'all about the time I almost got kicked out of school. I am flexing today. Woo! It's so juicy, I can't, I, I can't handle it, it's just so, okay, it's just so juicy. So if you don't know, I attended the University of West Georgia for my undergrad when I went there, well, two years ago, I graduated two years ago. Sorry, y'all, this, this is some serious stuff on top of my head. Okay, so it was my sophomore year, which would have been like 2013, 2014. And we were living in these apartments. They were called Arborview Apartments. And it was like literally an on-campus apartment. You walk into the apartment and there's two rooms in a bathroom to your right, two rooms in a bathroom to your left. You immediately walk into the kitchen and then on the outskirts of the kitchen is the living room. So it's like a cute little cozy little apartment. So that means you had your own room, but you shared the kitchen with your roommates. And you also shared a bathroom with the person that you shared your suite on that side with, if you will. So I was already friends with one of the girls that lived on the other side. So that's how we ended up in the same room. And then we ended up becoming really good friends with the other young lady who lived on the other side. Now, it was the girl who lived on my side, she was always kind of like the oddball out. And me being the nice person, like, if you know me, you know I'm really, really nice. Like, I'm always trying to be invited. I'm always trying to be nice. Like, that's just me by nature. Like, my spirit is just calming and fun and free by nature. Oosh. Ooh. That's hot. But that's cute. All right. By nature, that's just me. So, like, when we would do things, I guess their vibes didn't match. And then I would be like, y'all, let's, let's invite you know, so-and-so, let's invite so-and-so, or whatever. So, and they'd be like, no, you know, we cool, you can invite her. So I'd be feeling bad, because she used to come in and be looking like, because we always cook together, study together, be playing the we, like, going to events together, like, we were always doing something together. And I know she felt, like, excluded or whatever, and I'm not like that, I'm not that type of girl. I'm not that girl, like, I'm not doing that. I'm all about empowerment, especially women empowerment. And I'm a girl's girl. So at the end of the day, I'm going to stand for my girl. You know what I'm saying? So fast forward to, and she just did some weird stuff. Like she just, one day we came home. I mean, came at the school from being home for the weekend. And it was a freaking Mexican flag. A Mexican flag, dog, Hanging up in the living room. Like, girl, you couldn't put that in your room. We don't want that. We ain't Mexican, you know what I'm saying? We ain't down in any cultures or any, you know, beliefs or of heritage. But that's 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 not us, boo. We don't like that. That's not what we do. So, and then she just did, like, weird stuff. Like, put carpet freshener on the freaking tile floor. Like, it's tile floor. Like, you got a whole carpet in your room that you can put that carpet freshener on. And you putting it on the tile floor. And then, on top of that, like, to make matters worse... One time she was doing some type of little, I don't know if it was some type of witchcraft chanting, like, I do what you do. Like, girl, uh uh, I had to start saying some prayers, doing some holy water, binding and loosening, because sus had some, some, some stuff going on with her. But I ain't say nothing, you know, we just swept it up, cleaned up. We were very clean girls. I'm happy, you know, to say that we were very clean. Even her, she was very clean. So it was one night, fast forward to Midnight Madness. And if you don't know what Midnight Madness is, it's kind of like the little kickoff pet rally thing um, to the basketball season. And where you can meet and greet the um, basketball players that play at your university or whatever. First of all, it was too cold. It was literally midnight when they had it. So it was cold. It was like March, the end of February, early March. Boo, if you're not LeBron or Kobe, I'm not getting out of my bed. Like, what are we doing? Why am I going to meet and greet a university player? Like, I'm not doing that. So I decided to stay back and I was talking to Demetrius, who is my husband now. 
and we were on the phone just chopping it up whatever whatever so it's literally like i look at the, i literally had just looked at the clock for some reason i'm not sure i looked at the clock and i was like dang it's like one o'clock so my friends they i saw them texting me and calling me because i guess they thought i was gonna pop up and come but i told them look sis i'm not coming so they popped up bing, 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 bing. so i thought it was like the room like the apartment door like because it was i don't know it sounded far away but it was close but it turns out it, they were knocking on my room door and i hear laughing so i automatically already knew who it was so i'm like what y'all want y'all better stop banging on my door da, 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 da. now mind you i the girl was in the room sleeping like her room was right next to mine so she can hear all the banging and booming or whatever whatever so I come out of the room, I told Nisha, I put Nisha on hold. I'm like, hold on, Nisha. So I go out of the room and it was like, uh-huh, what you doing? Where were you? Why you didn't come X, Y, Z? And I'm like, girl, like, uh-uh. Told y'all I wasn't coming. So we just talking, chatting it up, chopping it up, shooting the crap. And I'm asking them, you know, like, how was it? What happened? Da, 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 da. And all of a sudden, sis busts out the room and was like, Y'all need to shut the F up, da 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 Don't y'all see somebody trying to sleep? I pay my rent in here just like y'all, first of all, sis. Just pipe down, because... So, me being... And this was pre-Jesus Germanica, okay? Like, no judge, don't judge me. This is pre-Jesus Germanica. Like, I, I was, like, literally, like, what you say? Boom. Like, it was just no talking. It's, it's nothing to talk about, sis. Like, it's, it's on site. Like, if you disrespect me, it's on site. So everybody was just sitting around looking dumb. And I said, girl, who are you talking to? You see some churn in here? Like, who, where your churn at? Like, who you playing with? And she was like, I'm talking to y'all every time. And she was talking like, mind you, I'm here with two friends and a roommate. I guess three friends and nobody said nothing. So me, being me, I had I asked us like who are you talking to? Who, who are you talking about? Like I'm not I'm I'm not that one who's just gonna wait till you go in the room and talk amongst ourselves. No, I'm, if it's an issue, if it's pressure, I'm gonna apply it. So I was like, you know, what well, what's the problem? Like, yes, you know, they were we were being loud and laughing and stuff, but it, it's it's a better way to say stuff. Period. And she was just like, every time she come over here talking about one of the girls that came to our room. I got to hear her big old mouth and y'all always doing something and y'all this and y'all that and all that stuff. I said, hey, I understand all that, but you need to learn how to talk to people, period. Because like I said, ain't no kids out here. Everybody pay their rent. I said, yes, it is loud, but you 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 need to fix you need to fix it. Period. So she um kept going, oh no, 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 da 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 da. And then that's when she just I was like, girl, sh like why why are we talking? So I stopped talking to her. And she was like, you know what? I got something for your fat A. Who, sis? Who? Because little did you know I had two somethings for you. So, so just come on. So at this point, like, I'm totally not ready. I'm off my square. Like, I got, I don't got no glasses on. I got my little boom bocce on, which is like the scarf. I had just laid my hair for, like, my ponytail for the next day so my edges could be slick. My ponytail could be slick. Real cute. I don't got no bra on, child. No. I, I got on a tank top and some little shorts. No bra, no glasses. I can't even see. I see little little figments, little shadows, little shadows, and that's it. But you know, you you know where things are. You get familiar with things. Like I can see, but it's blurry. So she go inside of her room, and she fumbling around with something. And at this point, I'm just laughing at her because she looks so stupid. Like if you really had an issue like that, why can't we settle this like adults? Because at this point, we were like 19, 20 years old. So so really like. You obviously had some some other some other beef. Like you on the mic. What's your beef, sis? So she come out the room and like I said, I can't see. She doing like this. She doing like this. She going hard on whatever it is. And next thing I know, I see sis like bite and spit something out. And she opened up something. And then I just remember my friend said, Oh S, oh S, she got mace. Now mind you. I ain't used to no ghetto antics. Like, I ain't, I ain't never been maze, tamed, none of that. I ain't used to that ghetto crap. So, I don't know. So, my friend was like, she got maced. So, it, 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 it was like, I guess she thought, and she couldn't have thought that we were trying to jump her or 
it was like some type of attack on attack because I'm the only one talking to you, sis, and I'm sitting back. Like, I got my arms cup, I got my arms down by my side. I ain't even have a cross. I don't got no glasses on. I'm not sitting up getting like buck with you. I'm not talking with my hands. I'm sitting back. I'm chilling. Hey, y'all see that now? But I'm chilling. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm on some chill stuff because I'm not even, at this point, I'm not even taking you serious. So, she was like, um, so they was like, she got me, she got me. So I'm still sitting there. And she sprays the room. It wasn't like she tried to spray me or spray a particular person. She sprayed the room. So yeah, she came out the room with the mace. And I'm like, oh, see, you trying to fight, fight. Okay, okay. And I don't know, like, and this, this is why I don't fight. I don't fight because when I fight, I don't know how to stop. And and that's not a good thing. And I'm not proud of it. I'm not bragging on it. I'm not. I'm not doing none of that, but that's why I try not to let nobody take me there. Never, just just a tip from me. Never let anyone take you so far away from your character that you cannot bounce back, that you off your square. And that's what I did. Like, when I was fighting that girl, well, we gonna get to that part. Like, I really tried to hurt her bad, like, for real. So, she sprayed the room, and it was like, like I just snapped, like, like I had an outer body experience or something, like... Like I'm looking, like I'm God, so it's like, like I'm just looking down, like looking down on the room and I can still see myself sitting there, right? I'm looking like, so, myself saying, hmm, did this bitch just really spray the room? So she sprayed the room and then it's like, I snapped. When I heard my friends coughing, they was like, eh, eh, eh. and it's like, it got on everybody but me. So I was just like, what is really going on here? So next thing I know, she threw the mace down and she charging at me. And then I, like I told you, I snapped back when, when I heard that coughing. So <laughs> me being me, I said, I'm ready. So she lunged at me and then she swung and I ducked that real fast and hit the girl with a two piece like bop bop. And it was just on, it was on from there. Like it was on and popping. I can't tell you what happened. I can't tell you if I hit a bit of, spit a, kicked a, did a, I can't tell you because it's just like, it was a blackout. And all I remember, like when I finally came to, People were just like, Jamaica, Jamaica, da, da, da. Like, they literally dragged me out of the room, right? Like, so they dragged me out of the room. Jamaica, Jamaica, calm down, calm down. Mind you, my freaking titties hanging out. <laughs> my boobs hanging out. I have no bra on. Like, I'm just exposed, but I'm just so, like, I'm just so out of it. I'm out of it at this point. The room, right? Like, and all I heard was, oh no, look at my face. I need a round two. I'm like, oh, boo, 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 boo. Let me back in this room. Sis want me. Like, she want a round two. Come on. Let me get her what she's asking for. Like, it's nothing. You don't have to ask sis. You don't have to beg. I'm right here. So they was like, no, you need to come to our room. You spend the night in our room. Da, da, da. I said, I'm not spending the night no mother in where, except for where I laid my head at, where my mama paid for me to stay at, where my whole scholarship paid for me to stay at. So... Um, they was just like, well, my friend, well, my ex friend was just like, well, I'm staying down here with you. Da, 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 da. If she got me, she crazy. She crazy. I said, I wish sis would. I tried to sleep. Hold on, I gotta stop. Oh, that still turned out cute. I tried to sleep with my door open to let sis know, like, it's whatever. On site, sis, if you bought it, let's get it. So they wouldn't let me sleep with my door open. I slept with it a lot just in case. Just in case she was really all some crazy stuff. Come on in, sis. Come on. The weather's fine. Come on in. So um we she brought they brought me back in the room. She was like, I just want to talk to her. I just want to talk to her. And there we talking. She acting like we friends, like, like we cool. Like, oh, I was just saying that it is da da that. Like, sis, we not cool. And then I'm on the outside of the room and she like, I'm from Stone Mountain. I'm from Stone Mountain. Old child the ghetto. I'm like, girl, I wasn't even trying to fight you, you little trap queen. But since that's what you want, I gave you what you want. And now you looking like a boo boo the fool with a black eye, a busted nose, and you look dumb. Like, you took an L for the night, so let's just go to bed. <laughs> she was like, um, like, I don't know. It was like she was trying to talk to me to be my friend. Like, says we just like I just molly walked you. Like, I'm not your we're not friends. I'm I'm ready to fight you again. Like, what are you talking about? And she was just like, um, well, I was just saying, I didn't know if y'all was going to jump me. That's why I maced the room, da 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 And I was just like, girl, okay, like, it's late. I'm about to go to bed. Because if you're not trying to, if you're not trying to fight, like, why are we talking? I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk wrestle with you. And so, um, she was like, um, and then I heard her calling her friend or whatever. 
Um, she was like, yeah, I just got into a fight with the thick one, the thick one, the thick one. She was like, she just blacked my eyes. She blacked my eye and my nose leak, and I need you to come and do my makeup. Since it's 2 o'clock in the morning, your class is not for another six hours. That makeup gonna be good as stale. Like, why are you calling for makeup to be done at 2 o'clock in the morning? Call her in the morning. So, that was the first day. We got, actually, we fought twice. So, I'm not gonna tell y'all the second time. If y'all wanna know more about the second time, like this video. Don't judge me. I am a whole wife now. I don't partake in those little girl activities, but if you try me, I'm just gonna pray for you. I'm not gonna fight you. I don't fight anymore. I'm too booked. I'm married, booked, and blessed. I don't have time to be fighting. But, um, yes, and I, I can handle my own, period. But I'm just saying, like, if it's me and I'm in a room with my real friends, like my dog, and somebody pull out some mace or a weapon, we jumping out, period. Like, the whole gotta get jumped. But nah, these scary bras over here, which I didn't need them, period. I handle my own. I can hold my own. But I'm just saying, it's the principle, like, the girl pulled out a weapon on all of us, put us all in danger. Like, we could have been blind with, like, Ray Charles, like, for real, I'm not trying to be funny. But, and y'all just sitting here, sis? That hoe should have been stumped out. We should have stumped that hoe out! And I'm not saying that it's cute. I don't condone violence. Be like Martin Luther King, take the non-violent approach. Like, this is just a story from my past, a funny little entertaining story. And that's it. I don't entertain violence. I don't entertain things of that childish lifestyle anymore. I am a Christian. And I'm just going to pray for people. And that's just going to be it. So, choose a non-violent way, okay? Don't be like me. Be like Martin Luther King. Be like Martin. Okay? Be like Martin. Because, because non-violence is the way. Okay? Be like Martin. No violence. Yes, it's true. I shouldn't have been out there nothing and bucking. I shouldn't even entertain that. I shouldn't even let nobody take me there. But don't be like me. Be better than me. Okay? All right. I, I just let people talk. That's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is let people talk. Like, sis, if you ain't trying to hit, you ain't saying fill in the blank. Like, it's just not, it's nothing to talk about. Like, just let people talk. People gonna talk. People talked about Jesus. Let them talk, okay? Till they blow in the face. But as soon as they come and put their finger on you, come up to you like they finna swing, spray mace, mace on you, walk the dogs on them. Handle your business, sis. Walk the dogs on them, period. Thank you for coming along on with me on my first story time. I hope it was good. I hope y'all like it. Comment down below on different story times that y'all want me to tell y'all about. Comment what you think. Comment about your <laughs> your first fight or your one of your fights in school or whatever. And just let me know. But until next time, y'all know that Vlogtober is lit. Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, I did. Oh, I broke my ear. <laughs> oh, I broke my ear. Okay. I just. <laughs> oh, cut, 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 cut. And scene. Oh. I'm back. I'm back. It just needed a little butter. Oh, I really burned it. Okay. It just needed a little butter. It'll be okay. But I really decided that I was going to do the Insta Mini giveaway. I'm going to buy another camera. I'm not going to buy it yet until I choose a winner. Um, the contest will be over on October the 31st, which is Vlogoween. Um... And all you have to do is like this, like the video from yesterday, subscribe to the channel, screenshot your post notifications on, and share it on a social media platform of any choice, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, whatever you got, share it and send it to me in my DMs on Instagram at J-D-Y-N-I-E-C-E, J-D-Y-N-I-E-C, that is me. But until next time, y'all stay lovely, stay cute. I'm out, boo. I'll take a picture of this. I'll take a picture of y'all. Ready, set, cheese. I'll shake it.